This is our favorite shooting drill. We call it the wave drill. Uh, we have people wave at the shooter, and the first time they just shoot the shot, rebound, and get back to the uh, same line, and then go to the opposite line themselves. And then the second time through, uh, shot fake, take it to the hoop, the wave drill. Okay, let's do it. Nice shot, Cody. Sit. Rebound it. Nice. Nice. Good, Tyler. Whoa, we're hot. Freddie's thinking of Nobody's missing. Whoa. Good job. Good job. Get that shooting form going for you. Good touch, Molly. Sit. Good, 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 nice, 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 perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, hold her up. All right, now this time, shot fake, take it to the hoop. Shot fake, take it to the hoop. Ready? Begin. Come a little bit closer to him. Come a little bit closer to him. Shot fake, take it to the hoop, to the outside. Good. Nice. Sit. Shot fake. Take it to the hoop. Good. Shot fake. Good. Come on, Good job, Tyler. Good. 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 Excellent job. Excellent job. Next drill is a continuous layup drill. We're going to go through right-handed, then left-handed. Big thing that you want to emphasize with 6th, uh, 7th, and 8th graders is to make sure on the right-hand side they're going off the left foot. And one of the big teaching points, we say high jump, don't broad jump. So many, many times you will see kids taking off from here and shooting the ball rather than high jump to the basket. And if they've done it right, usually they're going to land in this position right here. When we get on the left side of the floor, what we're saying there, make sure that you're going off the right foot, putting it up with the left hand. I don't think that you can say, well, they're only in sixth grade, they're only in seventh grade, so it doesn't matter whether they shoot it from the, with the left hand on the left hand side of the basket. Yeah, it does. And if you demand things out of kids, you'll find that the kids pretty soon, it's become second nature to them. These kids have done this many, many times. They'll do a very good job at it. Continuous layups. Let's go. See how many we can get in a row. Ready? Begin. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, no more than two dribbles, nine, ten. If we can get by by one dribble, we'd love that. Okay, switch it, Molly. Switch it then, Molly. Good. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. That's it. That's it. That's it. Good. Nice, Chris. Way to, way to go hard to the hoop, Chris. Good. Whoa, we had, we had, we had, would have had 22 in a row. What? What the heck? We'll take 21. All right. Left handed. Sit, Molly. Nice job, Molly. Sit, Brianna. Good left hand, Brianna. Good foot, Megan. That's it. Nice, Tammy. That's it, Kelsey. Five in a row. Girls didn't miss, guys. Six. Whoa, pretty. Nice job, Chris. Beautiful, Tyler. That's it. Keep your string alive, girls. Keep your string alive. Nice job. Super. That's it. Perfect, girls. Freddy says, I'm sorry, coach. All right. Here we go. Good. All right.
I know a lot of people don't remember the old basketball player, uh, George Mikan, back in the 1940s, 1950s. But he played for the Minneapolis Lakers at that particular time. His best shot was a hook shot. And so from that day forward, this drill became known as the Mikan drill because really it works on your footwork. Uh, and it, it's, uh, it's, it's part of a hook shot is what it is underneath the basket. So we're going to have Coach Pastina demonstrate it. And then we like to use it with our kids because it really helps them with their footwork. Coach Pastina. Okay, around the basket, um, starting right in front of the basket, we're going left hand, left knee up. Always using the bank board. Catch it before it bounces. And then we take one step and up. One step, right hand, right knee. And just continuous. Hey, Tyler, let's go, my friend. Good, Tyler. Good job, buddy. Keep her up. Keep her going. 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 Super, Tyler. Super. Good job. Part of the uh, shooting fundamentals, we like to work on what we call the power layup. We'll do it with one dribble, square up to the basket, put her in. Then we'll do it with two dribbles, going to the other side, then putting it up. So many, many times you will find that if a, a person will be strong with the basketball and take the ball strong to the hoop, that's the reason why we like to practice what we call our power layups. Coach? We'll start out uh, simulating a defensive player here, get in our triple threat. We'll sweep it. We use one hammer dribble, hard, and up. One more time. He gets the basket right? Okay. This time now, coach, let's take the two dribbles, come to the other side, power it up. One, two, jump stop, good. Perfect. Okay? One of the things you have to watch out for is traveling. Okay? You have to watch that you don't walk. That's why you can, you can make that power jump. You can make that power jump as long as you're landing on both feet. Okay? Let's do this. One dribble. Good. Good. Strong. That's it. Strong. Good. Strong. Rip it. Rip it. Good, Kelsey. Sweep it. Good. Good, Freddie. That's it, Freddie. Now you got to make it, though, Freddie. Got to make it. Here we go. Good. Nice, Connor. Good. That's it, Jordan. Excellent, Tyler. Everything right, Tyler, but we missed it. All right, this time we go underneath. Two dribbles, Molly. Jump, up. Okay? Jump, up. Good. Nice left hand. Good. Sit, Tammy. Good, Tammy. Good, Kelsey. Good. Not bad, Freddie. Good. Wait till he gets out of there, Jordan. Good. Last one, Tyler. Good. All right. 